What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new comic read this time. Final one of the week. Possibly the best for last. Venom. Ow. Oh, this one's special. I have a Venom t-shirt or Black Sibius Five, whichever you prefer. Tommy Cates is back to writing. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Stan Lee. Finally. Even though those War of the Worlds tie-ins were actually ended up being pretty good. My God, did this guy, God. Jesus, did this book need Donny Cates back. I was like, man, when are you coming back? And um, since then, I, you guys might remember, I mentioned on one of my previous ones, I talked about how, like, what, why did Donny Cates like, not run the uh, War of the Worlds tie-ins? Because of Absolute Carnage. And yeah, it was. Donny Cates said, you know, I would have loved to have done the uh, War of the Worlds tie-ins, which... Also, you should have, because it would have been a lot better. Uh, but the reason he didn't was because he was busy working on Absolute Carnage. And um, I know this from his, from the uh, Ryan Stigman's new podcast. It's called Stigman and His Amazing Friends. Highly recommend you guys check it out. It's an amazing podcast. I'm not one for podcasts, honestly. Don't really listen to them. This is the, honestly the only one I'm listening to, like, constantly. Like, unless you also count uh, JD's off the script. This is the only podcast I listen to, and it's fucking amazing, man. I've listened to other ones here and there, but never consistently. This one, I'm watching consistently. Because it's just so funny, and I just love it. And I just look forward to the day when we see Donny Cates actually where um, Nick Spencer is probably in there, because I, I already know I'm going to love that one. That's because, you know, those are like my top two guys in Marvel right now. Uh, yeah, he also talked about how, you know, he worked on... He said like he almost had to completely learn how to rewrite, because the, the, the first issue is 60 fucking pages. Perhaps the cards. 60 fucking pages, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot. And it was like, you know, how... And he had to learn how to rewrite pretty much to make sure it doesn't, like, slow down the middle. He had to make sure it stays uh, up keep going. Ryan has been constantly tweeting about little sketches he's done of, of pages uh, from the um, uh, from the uh, from the series. I've already done Twitter. Re I've already probably retweeted a bunch of them and you, know, you guys already know about that. Uh, yeah, so that was my theory and he also said he also hosted this had this summit where he brought in all the writers that were going to be doing tie-ins and he brought in Nick Spencer, um, uh, uh, Salman or uh, man, or whoever the guys is working on Miles uh, do this doing, and uh, doing the um, Unstoppable Hulk uh, he also got a bunch of other guys, um, you know, a bunch of other writers doing, uh, and he's like, you know, he's talking about all this stuff and how he brought everyone together, Nick Spencer as well. It was some really cool stuff. And, and just go back and let's do it. It's up on, you can watch the first episode up on YouTube. It's a director's commentary on the first issue, man. And I thought it was just really great. I thought it was some great stuff, man. And, yeah, it was nice seeing, like, kind of get a behind-the-scenes look of Donny Cates and what he was doing for Absolute Carnage. So, yeah, that's why he wasn't there. And, um, and, uh, Ryan's not doing this one, I'm assuming because he's still working on Absolute Carnage. Uh... Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited, man, it's so glad, and we got a new, so we got the artist here, we got Juan Gedon, 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 but uh, so his art's pretty similar to Ryan, so I'm okay with it, um, yeah, but this one actually, uh, there was, I saw a preview of it, Donnie posted about it, he said there, there was actually a bit of a printing error with, like, the first page where you get this, like, where it was just kind of top of the War of the Realm shit, uh, probably because he knew, like, yeah, no, everyone's gonna read those, <laughs> Because I'm not attached to it, he's like, okay, here's a little refresher that happened in those War of the Realms tie-ins that you most likely skipped, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, and he also posted some other previews where we see Papa Eddie. Great shit. So let's keep going. Uh, yeah, so let's read this. Alright, let's get into this. This is, I'm so fucking excited, man. That's all. God, do I miss Donny Cates' writing. Yep, here we go. Yes, this is, this is probably like a little. Like, this is probably like the. This is like a prelude to Absolute Carnage, in a sense, because I think next one is Absolute Carnage. I'm back. For the first time in a long time, I can feel my own heart in my chest. I can hear my own voice in my head, and I'm. I'm done. After the guy. I love he got. I love you got Venom flexing right there in the middle. You got Venom flexing. You know? After all, after the gods, I fought and, dra and the dragon, and the dragon, the demons, and the disease, and all of that, and all the, the, all of it. I'm done. There was no more we. It's only me. You got Miles right there, my boy Miles. Got no. Got uh, these little spawns there. You got um. None of that is. Also, I know he actually said uh, for Absolute Carnage. You know, so the only thing you have to read is like the first a volume as well as the. Uh, Carnage Reborn one shot, which there was actually a few of them for the uh, what, Venom Web of Venture, which I saw one of them was the one where you follow the Venom dog. I didn't read it, which I think I'm going to read them now uh, in pre for anticipation of that. So I'm not going to react to any of those. I'll just read them on my own time if you guys want. And I'll probably post my thoughts to them on Twitter. So if you want to know that, follow me on my Twitter. Links in the description box below. Anyway, it's only me. 
my the symbiote that was bonded to me I cast it out and since then next page Right, this is the one that had the um, uh, printing error. He said the digital ones were fine, so where should we go? I mean, I, I always want to pull it up on Twitter and just read from there, but, you know, I'm pretty sure this is fine. All right, well, I'd be lying if I said things have been better than better since we separated. Yeah, this is just the um, War of the Realm shit. Turns out trouble tends to find me. Some other gods touched down on New York, the war, the world over, reality, and they set everything on fire. I was caught up in the middle of it trying to protect my son. My son, who doesn't know I'm his father because I'm too much of a coward to tell him. <laughs> Yikes. I look forward to when he tells him. When he tells him, No, Daniel. I am your father. <laughs> no. It, it's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> like it's Empire Strikes Back. No, I am your father. All right. In the in the um, in the process, I was granted a dreamstone, kind of hell. I don't I don't know some kind of magical something that gave me a, my wish. Okay, got Thor right there. Uh, okay. I see it all now so clearly, and it and it terrifies me now. It terrifies me for the questions it it dread it dread it dreads up. Chief, chief among them, am I a good guy who's bonded with a bad thing that turned him into a monster? Next page. Oh, here it is. Here comes Papa Eddie. Rex Strickland's high warehouse now. Or am I a monster who turned into a good thing bad? Either way, that part of my life is over and I'm a free man from the first time I left the But I didn't ask, who the fuck is the mother? Who was the mother? Is, was it, um, what's her name? Oh, shit, hold up. Skip the page. Who was the mother? Was it his, uh, girlfriend? No, 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 I think we, no, 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 no. We actually did see that. Never mind. Uh, it was his girlfriend when he handed it. It was, like, his girlfriend. I think her name was Anna, the same chick that was in the Venom movie. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was who it was. I was like, who's the mother? And then I was like, oh, yeah, shit, we already, re Donnie revealed that a few uh, while ago. For the first time in a long time, Eddie, here comes Papa Eddie. <laughs> Through life still has its challenges. I don't feel good. Oh, Daniel, you're burning up, man. Am I sick like you were sick? How's he sick? Is he sick from all the War of the Realms tie-ins? <laughs> yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> Oh, buddy, no, nothing like that. You have a little cold. We just need to get you something, something for your feet, for the fever and some and, and and some soup. You'll be okay. Okay. Do we have soup or medicine? <laughs> do what? <you want> some... <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the hell? You want some medicine? How about you leave? How about we leave you here to some? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try again. You want some medicine? How about we leave you here to suffer and you stop dragging us down and turning us into a little weak, weak little oh, damn it, foes, Rob. That's not real. That don't listen to it. <laughs> is Venom still there? And Daniel's just like, what up, fam? <laughs> uh, we don't have any soup and we don't have any money. My other, my other used to provide everything I need. Uh, I'm going to have to do something dramatic, 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 drastic to help them, help my kid. That's fine. I'll be here when you wake up, okay? I've done crazier things for you for lesser reasons. Next page. <laughs> you just got that king out of nowhere. How about we just leave you to suffer? A venom pistol. <laughs> Anyway, I said so. This one's my favorite. John, I say I view this as a giant fuck you to Bill Maher because fuck Bill Maher, he's a fucking asshole. May he burn in hell after Ghost Rider has his t has his time with him and gives him the pension stare. He, did you know the Punisher just survived the pension stare? I didn't. My man, he, my man, um, Emmanuel, 
my friend, good friend Emmanuel, he me he actually sent me this post in the DMs on Instagram about five things you didn't know. But of course, you're using your old digital. He was a Spider-Man villain at one point, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he got some other ones like where he survived the pension stare because he has no regrets about any of his actions. We found out his kill count was just four hundred, was just forty-eight thousand something, and we find out that one time he faced off against the Wolverine. Shot him in the face with a with a shotgun, then used that same shotgun to shoot him in his balls, then ran him over with a steamroller. <laughs> and also, they was Captain America after the Civil War. Deal. I already knew about the Civil War, but I was like, wait, what? He took on Wolverine 101, and he shot him in the head, then in the balls, and ran him over with a steamroller. Goddamn, my man Freak House got some massive balls right there, man. Anyway, but let's read it. I'll read it. Stand soapbox. The next time anyone puts you down for reading a comic mad, try hitting them with a little soliloquy I've used very on various radio and TV guest appearances in the past few months. Comic books are a medium of communication, just as television and motion pictures are. L three employ words employ words of pictures and must be must be judged on their own individual merit. A story is a story whether presented by two, between two covers or on the screen. If this word have if the words have dramatic impact, if the pictures are visually appealing, if the theme is emotionally relevant, the sen then certainly is worthy of a reader's attention. However, if the quality is lacking, then it rate then it rates little consideration. Isn't this equal to true isn't this equally true for a TV program or Broadway show? A Broadway show, a motion picture, or any other form of entertainment. All we uh, all we uh, all we at a Marvel ask is that our product is judged on the basis of quality, a quality which we have sincerely believed in is equal to found in any other any other comparable medium. Marvel Comics today is are produced by the finest creative teams available. Read, read them first and then decide. Excelsior. Fucking love Stanley, man. Legend. All right. That being said. I mean, lie if I said this didn't scare me worse than the dark, than the dark el el elder god. At least I can punch that problem. Eddie Brock. Oh, sh oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's working back in uh, journalism again. God, I can't believe it's really you. Were you? When you called, I have to expect it to be a joke, Clark. Hey, man, thank you for this. It's really, it's really. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't head in. We don't head into the. Why don't we head into my office, okay? So how are things? You still working for online for the ad online rag? What was it called? No, no, I had to step away for a while to deal with some family stuffs. So, but I'm, but I'm better. Eager to get back to work. Next page. <laughs> oh God! I think actually Donnie, because I know I think Donnie should do these Venom forges, man. I think <laughs> we got more Venom. I love this Venom shit, man. Uh, Eddie, looks. Look, I took this me because you were always good to me, good to me when I was was I an intern. And I forever be grateful for that. But for that, but you have to know I can't hire you, Clark. Man, come on, don't say that. I'm better now. I'm not hurting anyone anymore. I told you. I look. I got a kid, man. I need this. Or I could stress. <laughs> I can't read this without laughing as long as they just come out of nowhere. Or I could smash your head through the desk. <laughs> I can't even read this. <laughs> Alright, let's try. <clears throat> or I could smash your head through this desk and take whatever is in your wallet and then go to your house. <laughs> Jesus, man, <I'm> relax! <laughs> no, stop that. This isn't us. This isn't me anymore. Okay, here's what I'll do. You'll solve you'll solve a problem for me, and we'll talk about another gig. All right. Next page. <laughs> this whole Asgard invasion, owls and goblins nonsense is still is still raining shit on us. Dead hundreds of people still MIA and work. A lot of parents freaking out about their missing kids. God. Yeah, well, you know how it is. Parents go to the cops. Cops can't do shit. Parents go to us to publish something to put their put heat on the cops. You ask me, these kids ran at the first glimpse of a you ran at the first glimpse of a unicorn. They'll go back as soon as the air is clear. It's all clear, but I gotta publish something or else the globe the globe suddenly doesn't care about the pr the precious children of the five of the five bureaus. <laughs> 
So go out there and beat some bu and beat some bushes for me. Get some, give me some words on this. And if they're all, and if they're good, and you don't kill anyone, well, talk about a job. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> we got venom looming in the back. It's been a long damn time since I was an investigative reporter, but I still know my way around the streets. Street, the butcher bar is fr is front is a front for a stash house. I've known about it for years, but the gang who runs it always kept their nose clean enough to not get not get bloody. But if someone in there knows something, then that might be um that's about to change. No guards posted up. That's not good. Something is worse. All right, fuck it. Next page. <laughs> He's busting down the door. <laughs> no, slow down, Brock. You don't have powers. Just you're just a shut up. No, this isn't you. You can't. Go. You have to calm down. Be smart. Be safe. Remember who or why you're here. Dylan needs you. He needs medicine. He needs money. God, what happened here? This is. I mean, it's kind of she. I'll take that. I'll be like, um, uh, um, <laughs> just say it's cranberry juice, Gra uh, well, it's cranberry juice, cran apple. <laughs> this is what, sh this is what you came here for. Take it, take it all and go feed your pathetic, no, not like this. Get out of my, oh, <laughs> you're going to have to let me out, Brock. Let me out, or you die. Oh shit, they're taking over by Null. He's coming. He's here. God is darkness. Fine, but no one dies. You're no fun. Next page. So is Venom actually... Is either... Is Eddie... Is Eddie just... Is Eddie there just tackling these guys? Or is the Venom simulate legit coming, coming on him and wrecking shit? I don't know anymore. <laughs> no one do I care. Even without my other, I can still feel the infestation in these men. I'm not Venom. Okay, so I guess this is just and just for illusion sake. Just like, yeah, this is Venom technically taking over, I guess. But I imagine I am for I am for a moment. So that even though I will feel every inch of the pain these men dish out, I won't feel sorry for the pain I give back. Oh, they all speak in the same ancient voice. Oof. They're all being controlled. Oh shit! Oh! 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 <laughs> right in the balls! By by some dark and red and red and familiar carnage. Oh shit! He's buying them. Oh shit! He's buying them. Next page. They're strong and insane. Oh, oh shit! Lucky for me. Oh, oh shit! Damn, then I'm ain't playing no games. Next page. So am I. Oh shit! Damn, Eddie, you look fucked up. <laughs> A child's voice cuts through the fury, followed by the voice I thought I'd never hear again. Help! Ah! And I'm st and in this in this in this stillness that horrors that horror beings questions what is happening here or the or those in men infected with a car with the carnage symbiote is that possible Cletus is dead his symbiote is dead and what does any of that have to do with the with the sick feeling in my gut that I faced this man before next page. Oh shit. That's Cletus. Oh, it's in all the kids. Oh, you sick bastard. Oh, and the meat freezer too. Cletus, you sick bastard. You sick fuck. You sick fuck. You sick fuck. 
even with that even with the mask, I recognize his voice. Emily, um, Emil Greeks, Greeks, the man who claimed to be to be sin eater, who confessed to me when I was a reporter, who lies got me fired, that cost me my life, my marriage, sent me down a path I never recovered from. Eddie, come in. A man who has been dead for years. Let me above. Lee, let me absolve you of all your sins. Get away from the kids, Greg. No one has to die today. Next page. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Man, it's about to rain. Man, it's about to rain. Hell! I'm collecting them, Eddie. For our God. He's resurrected me. You see? He told me to give you a message, but I want to give him gifts. Me? What message? What are you talking about? You who sent you? He wanted you to see me. See where where you began. Where how you failed. Remind you of what you are. You're you've been playing the hero too long, boy. Cletus wants some blood of you before he rips your spine out. Let me out, please, Eddie. He's already dead. Let me open him. Yeah, okay. Let's get bloody. Next page. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's about to throw down with him. Let's throw down. Oh! <laughs> Fuck him up! Before his body turns back into dust, Emil, give me, give me his, gave me his message. Clean his carnage is back. James <laughs> being the Resurrected by some insane cult that worships Null, the god of the symbionts. They gave him a piece of the of the of the Greendale, the badass symbiote dragon I fought and I thought I killed, which makes him damn near un unkillable and more, and more powerful than ever. <laughs> damn. And he's coming for me and everyone else who's ever worn a symbiont. I should be terrified, but honestly, oh shit! I have bigger things to worry about right now. <laughs> you couldn't clean up first! You just walked in there! <laughs> you walked in there! Bloody as hell! Jesus Christ! Eddie doesn't give a fuck! Oh god, Eddie! Oh god, Eddie, what the hell happened to you? Listen to me. There are 13 traumatized kids in your lobby downstairs. I can't be here when you call the cops. What? Now I solved a problem for you. How much money do you have on you? <laughs> Eddie, oh he has a Spider-Man mug. Later, back at Rex, Rex Rex's warehouse. The soup sucks. <laughs> yeah. It sure does, but hey, you know what, kid? It'll be worse. Next. Absolute carnage, baby! <laughs> God, I'm so hyped! Okay, you put the credits page in the back. God, do I miss Dummy Gates! Oh man, was this a treat! Oh man, I can't wait to. Oh god, yeah, this was the best comment of the week. Save the best for last. Tony Kate's a fucking go. I still, I don't know which one I prefer more between him and Nick Spencer. Those are like my top two guys in Marvel right now, man. Man, was this fucking fire! I love how he just walks in there, all bloody and shit. Fucking fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, I love this comic. Final verdict. Y'all can already guess. Ten out of fucking ten. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you liked it, subscribe for new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, follow it. Links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.